serious topic. Uh, Trevor Etienne charged with uh, four uh, misdemeanors, including uh, DUI over the weekend. That's the former Florida running back who's who transferred in the offseason to Georgia. Uh, I don't know if you guys are in like the yell or screaming mood, but it, it is kind of newsworthy when Georgia literally had a, a staffer you know, die uh, over this. And uh, they're back in the news for it again. Uh, Danny, what, you got thoughts? Yeah, um, it's it's getting to the point where, and I think we've talked about this a lot, even maybe before Georgia had their specific issues, which do seem to reach like epidemic levels when you're seeing how many different players have been pulled over, how many players have been, you know, have gotten, you know, either excessively speeding, like 100 plus, not, 45 and a 30, but like a hundred plus reckless driving racing. And now you've got, you know, influence under the influence involved as well. Um, it's a problem. I, I, I'm shocked that Kirby hasn't done a better job of nipping this in the bud and, and, and taking a statement. And yet when I say that, when is the punishment, where, where has the punishment been outside of the court system? When Kirby kicks somebody out that needs to be kicked out or something is done that's drastic enough that says enough is enough, like something has to stop. So I guess from that standpoint, I am surprised, but I am not surprised without any consequence. Like you've got access to fast cars, a lot of, and this is only the stuff we know about. I mean, I'm wondering how many times players have been pulled over and maybe given the, you know, hey man, just slow down. Cause there's video of that out there from different cops that have pulled a guy over and told them, hey, we just got your buddy down the street. You guys have to slow down. And they're not like a slap in the wrist isn't going to be something that's going to knock it off. So I, it's a problem though, that I don't think is, is only to Georgia, but the fact that it keeps happening to Georgia players, I think is, is cause for alarm. One just point of clarification here. It is a DUI arrest, but uh, Trevor, Etienne, the limit, right? he doesn't turn 20 until July. So I'm guessing in, in, in Georgia and I know in Florida, like any alcohol, in Florida, if you're under 21, like rings up as a DUI. Yeah. So we don't know, like he, there's no, I think he was under the, the 21. He was under the limit. 21 limit. Yes. Yeah. So like, I don't know if you can have a technicality DUI. If I was a Georgia fan, that's probably what I would, uh, you know, what, what I would argue for. Um, which I've seen, by the way, they've, mm -hmm. they've all pointed that out, which I don't know how at this point, even the most hardcore Georgia fan doesn't realize the seriousness of this. Yeah. And takes a little bit of a different stance as, as opposed to, hey, let's defend the player like he didn't do anything wrong. No, this is this is a problem. And I think, too, like it's also a byproduct of the current situation. And now with NIL, like players are getting money. And what's an 18, 19, 20 year old with money going to spend that money on quite often, especially at college? You're going to buy yourself a nice car. So you're seeing players buying cars and taking advantage of the car. So you can't stop that from happening. But going along to what you were saying, Danny, the only thing that Kirby can really do, because kids are going to be kids, you know, I don't want to boys will be boys, but that's what's going to happen. But you actually have to have consequences for it. Like not just a ticket and a court date. Dudes have to start missing games for it. Like you have to send some kind of message because it has reached the point where I mean. Two, two people were killed already, and this has not stopped. That was not enough of a deterrent for the rest of the culture in that locker room and the rest of that roster to see maybe we should get our crap together and stop doing this. So you have to figure out something to get it to stop happening because you've already had one tragedy. There could be another one if you don't do something soon. And this is not – it is a problem at Georgia now, but this could be any program in the country. So it's something I think coaches should be paying attention to and – if you're not already being proactive in addressing it with your players, you should probably start now. I, I think Tom's point about the the NIL money uh, is is a really good one. Um, I, I see folks on social media say, "Oh, why, why doesn't Kirby just mandate everybody takes Uber or Lyft?" Right? I, I mean, these guys they get these really nice cars and they they want to drive them. Like, mm -hmm. You know, guys who are are young make bad decisions when they drive. It just it. Why why, why can't you rent a car? Uh, but by yourself without a crazy down payment until you're what 25 you know what why, why do your insurance rates stay sky high even though you're you're a legal adult for for a couple more years I, like knowing some guys who run collectives obviously uh the ones they ask for the most are like, pretty souped up stuff so like it, it's the jeep track hawk 
and then it's the new uh the Durango with the Hemi, which is 710 horsepower. So like they they that's that stuff can go get right. And if you're gonna drive that, you're probably not driving that real slow. It, it's just a sort of thing. I I am curious, like during the Mark Richt era, they had tons of guys just rung up on kind of silly, you know, tick ticky tack stuff. And I don't know if Athens Police is like a real just kind of you know letter of the law. It's kind of crazy to say a letter of the law <laughs> police department, but damn but police I, department I, doing its job. Yeah, or is there something about like the way Athens is laid out as a city that makes it either more inviting to drive really fast or mm. more conducive for catching folks driving real fast? I, I don't, I don't really know. Um, but if, yeah, it's just. I think it's, it's the. I mean, up. I've driven from Atlanta to Athens. It's not that far, and you know what's a lot better nightlife than Athens? Atlanta. I don't know if that's specifically what they're doing, but it is a night you could go out. And you know it's a lot harder to find an Uber or a Lyft to to go that far, and it gets more expensive. So it's not to make an excuse for it, but I do think maybe that is something that's contributing to it. And it's also a road, because I remember when I went there, even I think I rented a car, and I think the rental agent that was like, where are you going? I'm like, Athens. Like, be careful. There's a lot of cops on that road. You know, like they like cops are aware that there's a lot of students, not just football players, that are driving back and forth, that are trying to make good time. And so they kind of set themselves up. So I, I don't think Kirby hasn't addressed it. Clearly, I'm sure he's yelled at them and he's had meetings and tried to get, but like you said, until there's consequence that makes you want to deter your, your behavior, I don't think this will be the last arrest that we'll see or last speeding ticket that we'll see. And they're never going to go away altogether. Like there's something about, like when I was, I remember Mike Shanahan on the Broncos before we'd have an off week. He would always say, you know, it's a lot cheaper to rent a limo or a party bus than it is to pay for a legal defense for a DUI, you know, whatever 10 grand or whatever the number was he gave us at the time. It's probably more than that, but he's like, but guys are still knuckleheads. You know, it's not only high, it's not only college players, it's young men with a lot of money that feel invincible. I mean, it's just kind of, it's where they are in their life right now. And, it's it's a it's just a it's where I am it, in my life right now. <laughs> it doesn't right. go away. Right. We're stupid until we die. <laughs> uh, oh, the last thing I had on the type of cars was just if you're a cop and you see somebody driving like an idiot and they're in like a hundred thousand dollar Jeep or like a Hellcat Durango, yes. guess what? Yeah, you may be more likely to pull them over to have a little chat, right? Like that's just kind of how this stuff works. It, it, it that's not a legal thing. That's just a oh flashy car. Maybe doing fifty-five into thirty. Let's uh, let's chat a little bit, buddy. See what see what's going mm-hmm. on today. Uh, so, I don't know, man. Like that's all I got on that. I don't I don't know if we need to yell and scream about it the whole time. Yeah, but, I mean, it's like, what do you do? You do sound like the old man yelling at the clouds. I get it, but it is a serious thing, you know. I just don't yeah. want to see anybody else die. Same. 